Can you talk about the additional charges against Cuba Gooding Jr. and any information you have on, on them? Yeah, as it's been reported for some time, uh, there were several sexual assault complaints that were worked on by our Special Victims Division. There's a lot of good work. There's active criminal investigations that are right now being prosecuted. Cuba Gooding Jr. is now facing an additional charge in his New York sex abuse case. And joining us now to break down what that means is criminal defense attorney Allison Treasel. Hi, guys. Always great to see you. Allison, diving right in. What is the latest with this case? So we don't know what the new charges are going to be. They will be unveiled on Tuesday. Cuba Gooding Jr. doesn't even know what he's charged is with. Is that typical? Um, here's the thing about his open case. Okay. I watched the video. As a defense attorney, but also I'm thinking as a juror, I don't think it's a very strong case. Interesting. So I think that they were looking to see what else was out there to probably bolster their case. Hmm. They say there are other incidents. So let's see what happens on Tuesday. Right. But standing alone, this wasn't a great case that was set to go to trial for the prosecution. Because at the moment, he's facing charges of sexual abuse and forcible touching, correct? Right. So it was a groping. It's a misdemeanor. It carries hmm. uh, up to a year in jail. Um, but the defense had a real strong case. So maybe they're using these additional charges to bolster that charge. But it sounds like a big deal when you hear uh, Supreme Court arraignment. So here's the thing about New York. It's Supreme Court in New York is the lowest level court. So hmm. it's kind of, you know, flipped from, right, from everywhere else in the country. Okay. So it's not as serious. It's like any other court that anybody else goes to. But his defense attorney has made a really strong showing that, hey, guess what? Um, anybody else, you would have never charged this case. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. We want to make note that Cuba has pled not guilty and denies all the allegations. He very yes. much denies yeah. it. Moving on to something yes. that's very much in the news, to um, Lori Loughlin. Yeah. Uh, the, the Lifetime's having a movie coming yeah. out before we even know the, uh, the real life situation, right. mm -hmm. the way it's playing out. Now, the parents that have, there have been eight parents, I believe, that have been sentenced so far in the college admissions scandal. What, what do you think of the way the judge has treated them? Lenient? Too harsh? Okay, so let me give a little bit of background. So 52 people are indicted, 35 are parents, 8 have already pled, 6 more are going or have been sentenced, 6 more are going to be sentenced in the upcoming month. Mm -hmm. That means that a lot of people still have not accepted guilt or pled guilty, right? But here's the pattern so far. The most someone has gotten and it really depends on how much money the theft they're saying is, okay. has been five months. Someone just got probation no time at all. We yeah. always, I mean, Felicity Huffman only got 14 days. So it seems with this judge, if you plead early, you're going to get the benefit of that, and you're going to do less time. Now, Lori Laughlin, She's pleaded, she's saying she's not, not guilty. And look, she has an absolute right to fight this. She says she's guilty, she has a right to fight it, but she needs to know that if she does, and if she gets convicted, she's going to get hammered. Why do you think her attorneys are advising her to plead not guilty? See, I don't know if she's saying, look, I can beat this. I, I, don't, want, I don't want a conviction. I'm not doing any time. Yeah. And her defense attorneys are saying, but look, the writing's on the wall here. Or they're all in. And they're saying, look, we got this. We can beat this. Either way, she really needs to think about it. Because those additional charges that were added... Those are an additional maximum of 40 years in prison. Whoa. So these low sentences that we're seeing, the mm. one month, the three months, you you can, if she gets convicted, expect much more time. Gee. Wow. Yes. And then possibly a plea deal, though, could be struck. She can. Never, right. She absolutely can. And remember, there's, there's now Even 20... Even after pleading not guilty. Yes, yes because a lot always. of these people... These people pled very early, but there's still 20 parents out there that have not pled guilty. Mm. She's just one of them. She's obviously, you know, high notoriety. But for all of them, I caution them. If you do not plead guilty and you go to trial and you lose, you're going to get a lot of time. She's got a status hearing in January January 17th. She also has denied all the allegations. Absolutely. Mm. Quickly, uh, one last case we want to get to, the Ryan Phillippe settlement. Yes, there was a settlement. There was a settlement. What Is does that, that a mean? signal to people that there was some wrongdoing? Well, so here's the thing. This was, and I'll do it fast, but i got to say this. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so for him, it could have been really embarrassing. There was, there was allegations of serious drug use, of some type of domestic violence where he threw this woman down the stairs. He denied it completely. He didn't want Reese, Reese Weatherspoon to testify, but she was subpoenaed to testify. Yeah. And for this girl, there was some worry, too, because he was arrested. No charges were ever brought. Mm. And if he could have brought that in, maybe a jury says, well, if he wasn't charged criminally, why do we hold him civilly liable? So what did that settlement look like? So this, we don't know the terms. Okay. We don't know the terms. We may at some point. But 
the fact of the matter is, it was settled. So. And he continued to deny the allegations. He did. So yes, now correct. it goes away. It goes away. Okay. Probably better for his career. Right. Yeah. And for everyone. All for everyone. Right I agree. Thank you so much. Of always good to see. We yeah, are all caught up now. Ryan Phillippe, of course, like we just mentioned, uh, continues to deny the allegations. Big thanks to Allison. And make sure you check out her website, Wild About Trial, for all the latest criminal trial info. She's headed to court right now.